Jesus said people should pay time. And the Bible affirms Jesus' statement for modern times. We're addressing the question, what is the 1090 rule? Jesus desires to reward his people. Yet even more, Jesus wants to recompense those who tithe. The Bible says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. God overtly states he will bless those who tithe. God actually wants to recompense or pay back tithers. So what must a person do to get this blessing? Give 10% of their increase to God that he may be glorified. 10% of the increase is a tithe. This arrangement is unbelievably advantageous to the tither. God wants the tither to keep 90% of the intake. If you had an equal partner in business and suggested that you keep 90% and your partner get 10%, few partners would agree to that arrangement. Yet God owns 100% and asks only for 10%. You own nothing and God allows you to keep 90%. Who invented the idea of a tenth? God did. God's spirit impressed Abraham to give a tenth of his increase. God commanded the Hebrew nation to give a tenth of their increase. The Bible says, And all the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. It is holy unto the Lord. God could have required any percentage, but he required a tenth. Also, God made that tenth holy. That tenth is not negotiable. It belongs to God. Some say tithing is not required. The Bible says otherwise. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. The New Testament, after Jesus' crucifixion, says, Give, survey the depth of your Christianity, and give accordingly. God loves a cheerful giver. God's people are givers. Without a doubt, giving is basic Christian activity. At the least, a Christian should give a tithe, which is a tenth. Here's the mechanics of the 1090 tithing rule. If you give more than 10%, the 1090 rule is upset. In this case, you have given more than required. God cannot allow you to be more gracious than God. God will work to restore the 1090 balance. For example, if you make $10,000 a year and give $1,500 on your income, you have given 15%. God will respond by working to increase your annual income to 15000 Because you are giving at a rate greater than 10%, God will give you a raise adjusted to the level at which you are giving. Most modern people think their employer controls their income, but that's not true. God creates wealth. The Bible says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. Also notice, the blessing God creates has nothing to do with a person's status or education. The blessing is a function of tithing. As a person tithes, that person is blessed. Remember, God's promises cannot fail. Also, the increase in profit is like growing crops. When a seed is planted, the abundance from that seed is realized in due season. An apple seed doesn't grow into a tree overnight. Give in faith and God will respond in abundance. He has promised. Do you have more questions about tithing? Read the book, Tithes of All. It's available at the website, BibleSite.com. Tithing will increase your faith in Jesus.